Hi all, welcome to our YouTube channel and we are back again with the most important questions for Pulliam 2020. Let's start with the first question. Consider the following. First statement. A star campaigner is a person who is nominated by parties to campaign in a given set of constituencies. Second, only recognized party can have star campaigners. Third, the Representation of People Act 1951 mentions that all expenses incurred by the star campaigner will be borne by the respective political party. Now, which of the following statements here are incorrect? Please note it says incorrect. A. 1 only. B. 2 only. C. 1 and 2 only. D. All of the above. Now, the, you can mention, uh, you can pause the video and mention your answers in the comment section below. Alright. So, correct answer here is B. 2 only. Now, the second statement is incorrect because both recognized and unrecognized political party can have star campaigners. Okay? But, but one thing important here is that there are certain limit. All right? For example, a recognized party shall have a limit which cannot exceed 40%. All right? uh, and an unrecognized, not more than 20%. All right? So, these are the limits that need to be followed. Also, what exactly is a star campaigner? <clears throat> So basically, they are celebrities and senior political party members um, who are nominated uh, by the party themselves to be the star campaigners. And this particular concept is based on the premise that the common voter can immediately identify with these people okay, and cast their vote. So the political party competing can get maximum vote as such. Okay? Now, very, very important thing is that there is no specific definition whatsoever in our constitution or by the election commission regarding a star campaigner. Okay. Moving on to the next question. Rast Goftar, a Gujarati newspaper was founded by A. Lukmanya Tilak, B. Kharshed Ji Kama, 3rd Sardar Vallabhai Patel, D. Bal Gangadhar Tilak. Now the correct answer here is B. Kharshed Ji Kama. So Kharshed Ji Kama along with Dadabhai Nauroji started this Gujarati newspaper Rast Goftar. Alright. <coughs> Sorry, and they basically uh, uh, champion social reforms and other in the Parsi community, specifically in the Western India. Okay. <clears throat> now moving on to the next question. Consider the following: first, African Development Fund; second, A African Development Bank; third, Asia Infrastructure Investment Bank; fourth, Bank for International Settlement. Now, India is a member of which of the following above mentioned institution? A. 2, 3, 4 only. B. 2 and 3 only. C. 1, 2, 3, 4. D. 1 and 4 only. So, guys, the correct answer here is C. All of the above, alright? Now, please note that India became a member first of the African Development Fund in 1982 and then of the African Development Bank in 1983. Okay? And uh, India happens to be the founding member of Asia Infrastructure Investment Bank, alright? And last, your bank for international settlement is basically a bank for central banks, okay, of, of, the, of all the world. And our Reserve Bank of India participates in it, okay? Now, moving on to the next question. First garbage city launched in which, of the, uh, in which city of India? A. Ambikapur, B. Kanpur, C. Mumbai, D. Ghaziabad. So, the correct answer here is A. Ambikapur. Now, Ambikapur happens to be in Chhattisgarh. Alright. Moving on to the next question. Consider the following statements. First, Kolkata port is the only riverine port of India. Second, Jawaharlal Nehru Port Trust is the largest container port of India. Third, Kanla Port is the largest port in terms of volume of cargo handle. Fourth, Marmu, Marmugao port is situated in the state of Goa. Which of the following statements given here are correct? A1 only, B1 and 3 only, C2, 3 only, D, all of the above. So guys, the correct answer here is A, all of the above. Alright. Moving on to the next question. There are two doubly landlocked countries in the world. Which of the following mentioned below are those? A. Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. B. Uzbekistan and Azerbaijan. C. Uzbekistan and Jordan. D. Uzbekistan and Lachistan. Now, the correct answer here is D. Uzbekistan and Lachistan. Okay. Moving on to the next question. Consider the following statement with reference to Rashtra Vayushri Yojana. Uh, 
uh, first the scheme is introduced by ministry of social justice and empowerment second the scheme provides physical aid and assistance living devices for senior citizens belonging to the bpl category third the scheme has been implemented through artificial limbs manufacturing corporation fourth it is a centrally sponsored scheme now the correct answer here is b123 now the reason being the fourth statement is correct is because it is a central sector scheme okay which means it is fully funded by the central government and the sole implementing agency happens to be alamco okay moving on to the next question which of the following statement are correct with respect to the competition commission of india first it is a statutory body of the government of india second the competition commission was established through the competition act 2002 third the important objective of the competition commission is to make market work for the benefit and welfare of consumers select the correct code a all of the above b none of the above c one and two only d three only so guys the correct answer here is a all of the above all right moving on to the next question the power of serbia gas pipeline is the first border pipeline between russia and which of the other following country please ignore that uh, red mark a russia and an india b russia and mongolia c russia and china d russia and uzbekistan so guys the correct answer here is c russia and china now please note this is actually a massive cross border undertaking not only which is central to china's energy security but it will also bolster ties between beijing and moscow theek hai so this is this becomes very important from your mains perspective all right now very important thing is that this particular pipeline uh, <clears throat> is prominent uh, to the eastern division to moscow's energy blueprint because moscow already is a very uh, primary gas supplier to europe so this will add another eastern dimension to moscow's uh, energy power theek hai so that now next question consider the following statement first arunachal pradesh dihang pass second himachal pradesh rohtang pass third rajasthan haldi ghati fourth sikkim jhelapla fifth uttarakhand niti pass which of the following state and mountain passes in india correctly matched a all of the above b 3 4 5 only c 1 2 3 only d 2 3 4 5 only so guys the correct answer here is a all of the above all right so that's it for the day and for more information on our various courses please visit our website www.asias.com and for more such daily videos like share and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you